Hello, everybody. Welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. This is an it is not an itchy. I was gonna say instantly. It's just my default. I just go to it forever. Uh, this is a Steam game that just came out, um, and I just bought it on a whim because it looks like Darkest Dungeon, and it's a roguelike game. So let's enter the temple. I don't really know what it's about, other than uh, yeah. Oh. He's this like, ooh, a cutscene. Is it a cutscene if it's at the beginning? Not really. It's just like a cinematic? What is it? Never mind. If he has to come all the way down this hallway. <laughs> is he actually gonna come down? Ooh. Is that me? Oh, look at this. It said controller recommended, but, um... What are you gonna do? You know? Oh, I can switch between... Oh. Oh, I have a gun. Oh. Bang! Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then a torch. And then... Okay. Alright. Oh, yes. Oh, this is weird. It's a little spooky. Little island cave like. Alright, anything here? Ooh. Little sneaky secret, nothing. Ooh, ooh, I can do this maneuver. Oh, look at that! I don't know what that is, or if it's using up something, but when I press shift, I do one of those. Okay, nothing. Alright, what do we got? A big old puzzle? I hope it's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, we got like a Jack and Daxter thing going on. He's about to freaking transform. Oh. Now it's Legends of the Hidden Temple. It's got all the things. Lit candle. Whoa. Let me just break up the place. So whoever's home this is will really hate me. Ooh. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know if you stand in the light or the dark. Okay. Equip a torch. By switching stance, use attack action to attack with it. Torches can spread fire to braziers or enemies. Um, elements on fire spread light around. Okay. Interesting. Okay, but it, unlike Darkest Dungeon, it has no benefit to being in the dark. Ooh, nice. Dodge action. Use dodge action to quickly roll and evade enemy attacks or traps. Each dodge requires one of your stamina points visible at the feet of your character. Once stamina is depleted, you cannot dodge anymore. Stop attacking or dodging for a short time. To re okay. Use dodge to evade attacks. I'm not actually evading attacks. Oh. Boom. Done. Basic attack. Equip I don't like that music. Equip your weapon by switching stances. Chain multiple main attacks to trigger a powerful finisher. Use secondary attacks to shoot with your range weapon. Finisher and range attacks require one stamina point. Okay. Bang! Ho! Bang! Bang! Ow! Okay. I thought it would stagger him. Oh. I gotta... So if I were to, like... Ow! Okay. So, if you shoot him, he leads into the attack. Alright. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Hold main attack for a weapon for a while to release a charge attack before his one stamina to Hold secondary attack for a while, then release to perf uh, at the perfect time to trigger a more damaging 
perfect shot. Chain a secondary attack after a series of main attacks to trigger a unique offhand combo. What? Okay, so when it glows like that, I'm assuming... Ow. Oh. Ow! Okay, well, this is fun. So is that a perfect attack? Ow. I'm trying to figure it out. Chain a secondary attack after a season. Okay. Oh! Ho! Ho! Okay. So that was like a... Okay. I wonder if there's like a... Um... Oh! Oh! Ho! I wonder if there's going to be like a like um dodge once like the second you dodge you can do like an attack oh there we go oh, oh, oh nice this is pretty cool Advanced defense. Perfect dodge. I told you. I freaking told you. Use dodge to evade enemy attacks. Successfully evading an attack triggers a perfect dodge, which restores one stamina attack. Nice. Okay. So, use parry action. Ooh, parry action. At the very last moment to counter enemy attacks, a successful parry weakens the enemy. It will take more damage for a short time and restores two stamina points. Okay. So, Dark Soulsy, a little, little bit of everything going on here. So, how do I... So, I'm assuming that's the, the dodge. I did not perfectly parry that. Okay, come on. Oh god. Oh man, this is bad. It's a good thing I Ah! <laughs> it's a good thing my health just comes back. Okay, you. Come on at me. Come on. That Oh my gosh, you really have to nail it. Parry at the last moment to Okay. Really? That didn't count either. Or I'm using the wrong attack. I don't... I, I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, god dang it. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh my god! That is... You have to be very precise. Pray at the last moment. Okay, and then do a perfect dodge. All right. So, a perfect dodge requires you to... You needed to be hit. Like, if you were... If you didn't dodge, you would have been hit. Oh, God. Alright, attack. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh. It is brutal to do that. There we go. End of training. Continue at the end of the room. Start your journey through the temple. If you want more practice time, use interaction. On the central market, or call for more training enemies. Okay. That is insane. If I wasn't recording, I would definitely uh, give that another go. But we must move on. And we must take out our torch. Ooh. Ooh. Gems. Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods who... To those who overcome the trials of the temple, jade rings are bound to your character and persist even after death. After each exploration, you can trade jade rings in the underworld to gain advanced new gear. Doesn't say advanced at all. Crystal skulls are powerful artifacts you collect for all enemies. Crystal skulls are bound and persist after death. Each exploration, you can trade them in exchange for permanent upgrades. Okay, so that's the rogue light aspect of this. Is being able to spend stuff afterwards. E. Ooh. Area map. Each temple is an assembly of rooms linked together. Each room type represents the main reward you can expect to find in it. Um, each time you complete a room, you can choose your path and progress through the temple. Use the map action, whatever that is, um, during your exploration to consult the temple layout. Oh, I'm assuming that's the map action, which is, yes, tab. I was... Just making sure. Okay, so if I need a specific thing, like if I need, I'm assuming gold, or if I need sword, or heads. It's like, okay, okay, now it's kind of getting like a little weird, like, um, Slay the Spire-y. I like this. 
It's a lot of everything, which is very good. Okay, so upgrade, weapon, gold, relic, attributes, healing, and challenge. And then unknown. Um, attributes. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go here, and then... Oh, gosh. Watch out for your corruption gauge. Oh, of course. You gotta watch out for the corruption gauge. Each door you go through increases corruption. For each full gauge, you become corrupted, and crossing the next door will curse you. They're not gonna tell me, uh, what getting cursed does. Ow! I pressed the wrong button to dodge. Oh my gosh! Okay. E. Ooh, there I go. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't mean to instantly attack. Ow! Okay, I need to find some sort of light source. Aha, braziers. Braziers! Ow, god dang, he covered a lot of ground. Ooh, a greed kill! Ooh. Ah, oh, I was gonna do a finishing combo. Okay, something tells me my health is not going to come back. After feeding an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chain kills to increase your greed kill count and the amount of gold released by enemies. Hitting enemies, perfect dodge and parries, refill the timer. Greed kills series reset if the timer drops off or you take damage. God, there's a lot of things. A lot of things to remember. What is that? A blazing blade? Main weapon, fire charge, attack, fire combo. Um, versus my non-flaming machete. Or I can offer it to the gods for less corruption. I'll take it. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it, it has like a little fire element to it. That's nice. If only this brazier was, uh... Gosh dang. This is a tricky game already. The lighting mechanic is gonna be weird. Having to deal with that as I enter each room. Like, if I turn it off, what does it do? I can't even remember what it does. Does it make me go insane or something? Does it corrupt me? Oh god, they found out. I can't remember what the darkness does. Oh boy. I gotta find a... Here we go. Ah! Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, everything's on fire. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Nice. What is this? Yachts pendant. Plus three dexterity. What is dexterity? What? Ooh, I can offer it to the mad gods for help. I don't know what dexterity do. Oh. Inventory. Use the inventory action to consult your current gear. You also have access to codex and system. Okay, cool. So what do we got here? Dexterity. Queen of the Mind's Body, Follow Eagle Sky. Okay. Oh, it's six damage. Plus six damage. F that's cool. Okay. Nice. And I have a codex with a bestiary. Lurkers. Okay. A bestiary. Fire charge attacks and fire combo finishers. Okay. Gotcha. Final curse. Ooh, he's like all excited about it. Yay, final curse. Ooh. Plus 30. Ooh. I'll take that. Maybe I can offer up the next one and get bonus healing. Ooh, that's weird. Okay, is that it? Did I do everything? What needs to be done? All right. Unknown. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Because those things would probably shoot. Save available. How do I do that? Oh, I could save and quit. Okay. Ooh. Let it all burn out. Okay, so this is like a trap 
maneuver here. Ooh. What are you? Oh. Ow. Oh. oh, I couldn't juke him. Oh my gosh. No. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. No. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's tougher than you'd think. It really is rough. Oh, gold. Gold for me. So what is gold for? If, if rings and stuff carry over, does gold not? Did I walk on something to trigger this? Or does it just happen to trigger? Can I break it? The other one's broken. I don't know. Okay. go okay oh whoa I'm trying to get rid of the range guys first oh Stamina, come on. Oh! 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 Boom! Oh. It like turns it into like a blunderbuss. There we go. Jeez. Steel tipped talon. Deals critical damage for three seconds after a perfect dodge. I think I'll die if I take that. I think I'll die, so I'm going to offer it to the gods! Just heal on up there. Okay. Um. Well, look at this guy. Look at this friendly fella. Oh! Offerings! When you interact with a weapon, relic, or uh, attribute altar, you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. Make a gold offering to spend gold for it. Make a blood offering to get it for free, but at the cost of corruption. Okay, so we can offer gold for the Chalice of Vigor, the Torture Ring, ooh, ooh, Torture Ring, or the Engraved Breastplate. No single source of damage you take can exceed 10% of max health. That's pretty good. And plus 4 constitution. Heal 6% of max health when an enemy is killed by the environment. 33% all healing effects, plus 2 constitution. Those are expensive. Uh, this one's really good. No single source of damage, but I mean, obviously it's good because, jeez, it gives a lot of corruption. Um, I don't even know how to heal, really. I don't think I'm gonna offer. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these. See you later, idiot. Next up, yeah, tributes. Okay. I guess I'll keep going till I lose. Oh. Oh, I'm struggling with the corruption. Dark fervor. Once the darkness is in your blood, nothing can stop its spread, not even death. Corruption now passively increases over time. That's bad. Going through a door no longer provokes corruption. Okay, so now it's just going to slowly tick up. So I kind of got to go. Each time you feel your corruption gains your curse. Curses have modifiers to the classic game rules and last until the end of the run. Beware the fifth and final curse, for it will strongly jeopardize your chance of success. Okay. I'm constantly looking down. Oh. Oh, two. Oh, God. I increased it by two. Whoa. Four. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, we gotta go. Okay. Boom. Boom. Bang. Oh, come on. I want to kill him. There we go. Nice. Oh. Bang! Ho, ho, ho! Getting a little better. Gleaming Sapphire. 
Plus 2% base damage per 1,000 gold. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Should I... Do I explore more, or do I keep going? My corruption's gonna keep going up. I think I go. I think I, I think I just charge forward, now that I've got this. I think that's what I do. Because I don't get more corruption from going through doors. So I'm just gonna... Charge through. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, it's dark, of course. But I've got this. So I can light enemies on fire. Oh, I ran out of... Where is he? There we go. Oh, there's more. I don't know what I picked up. There we go. Ow! Oh. Oh, God. Give me some light. Oh. I should probably stop killing the guys I light on fire. I don't know what... Ow! That is, but it hurts. Oh! Oh! oh. Jeez, a whiz. That is brutal. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I can get a gun. Or no, what does this do? Oh, it upgrades. I can upgrade it. I can upgrade my gun. Plus 1% base damage per point of perception. I don't have any perception. Um... Okay, or plus 1% base damage per point of dexterity. I do have 3 dexterity. Well, let's go for it. Here you go. Whoa. Alright, so I should have more damage on the old uh, sword here. Oh, it's only giving me plus 1. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Gold? Oh. I, I was trying to click on it. Okay, never mind. Oh boy. I'm gonna hit the brazier. Alright, boys. Boo! Oh. Oh, oh man! Boom! Okay. I like this game. I'm going to take that. Get the bonus damage going. Man, my corruption is a flying up. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Okay. I don't know if that counts as, like, a dodge or not. Boom! For some reason, I feel like shooting after doing a dodge roll like that. Even though it's probably better to go for the actual, like, hit. Alright. Getting, getting some good gold here, but the freaking corruption is offline. Oh, here we go. A little bit of gold. Plus 15% damage against weakened enemies. Alright. I'll take it. Any more loot? No, I think that's it. Okay. I gotta keep on chugging. Who? Uh, ooh. A new weapon? I like my weapon, actually. I like my sword that catches things on fire. So if I'm in, like, a room that doesn't have a brazier. Oh boy. Oh. Boom. Oh boy, I'm out of s Oh. Boom! Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Oh god, what is that? Oh! Oh! Alright, I'm gonna take out the little guy first. Boom! Hit him with the full combo. Oh! And the trap, too! Nice. Perfect. Oh, and here's the upgrade. Okay, what do we got? Alright. Fire charge. Plus one more dexterity there. 20% chance to inflict fire damage. And plus three. Ooh. I kind of, uh, I kind of want to keep upgrading this because the dexterity is rolling in. I think. Okay, let's offer some gold. There you go. Boom. Okay. So is it... Okay, no, it's still... Okay, I have no idea how this works. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I can't think. My freaking corruption is just flying up. Um, gold or weapon? Gold or weapon? If we go this way, we can go to whatever that is. And I kind of want to check out what that is. Even though I have a feeling it's like a boss. But, uh... What are you gonna do? Oh, hey, fellas. I don't know what that is. Oh, I can light that up. Oh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Juke him! Okay. There we go. Holy cow. Gold offering moose. Ooh. Or offer to the guys for 50 gold. I'll take this. Oh. Okay. What is this? That's not a thing. Uh, is this it? Is there no chest in here? Usually there's a chest. Oh, there's the corruption. Alright, let's see what I get cursed with. It's gonna be a hoot, I can tell you that. Alright, let's go this way. We're going towards the boss, I know. But, uh, it's been 27 minutes, I gotta keep this thing... Get this thing going. Divine Pact! Um, Zebelzalk, um, favors those who shed their dependency for frivolous. One of your relic slots is locked. It may no longer be equipped. You gain three divine favor. What does that mean? Oh, hey. Oh, my freaking ancient sensor. I guess I'll just leave it there. Can I offer it to the gods? No. How do I... Hold on. Inventory? How do I... What is this? What is... What is divine favor? How do I... What... What? How? Is it? Oh, here it is. It's down here. There he is. That's the vine favor. Hanging out. What is that? Somebody explained. Well, there it is. And there it shall stay. Divine. The most divine of favors. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, yes. I was just nuking him. What do we got here? Heal 6% of gold offerings amount. That's pretty good actually. Yeah, let's get let's uh let's uh let's take this. Ow! You suck. Ugh. Okay. What do we got? There's gotta be a loot chest in here somewhere, right? Ugh. Ho! Oh. Okay, here we go. Rolling! Okay, if I go that way, I can't come back, so... Alright. Nice. Boom! What the heck are you? Oh! Did you see that maneuver? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, I'm out of stamina. No, don't leave. 
Okay. Oh! I gotta kill him because he's healing his buddies. There we go. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well, look at here. What is this? Attributes. Earn powers of the dead gods to improve your attributes. Constitution max health. Dexterity is weapon. Uh, perception increases any gold income and the chance enemies drop gear object objects when defeated. That's pretty good. Plus 20... 250 actual. Plus 20 for... Uh, treasure find. And treasure find. Ooh. For the corruption? I'm probably not going to survive the... Um, Wait, I got the thing for gold, though. I should definitely get the... And I can afford both, right? Oh, I can only get one. I think I gotta go with... I'm gonna go with Tamox gift here. There we go. So I should heal up a bit from that. I did not. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Champion! Okay, I'm sure this will be fine. This will be fine. Everything's been fine so far. Why won't this be fine? I like how it's... Oh, no, it's actually kind of light in here. Oh, God, he's got a dog, too. Or a tiger with, like, a weapon tail. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, he summoned another one. Ow! God dang it! Okay. Get rid of his freaking buddies. Oh! Oh. I assume I don't want to stand in that, or I die. Okay, get rid of that right off the bat. Ho! I'm just gonna wail on him till he goes back to the center. Whoa! Ho! Oh god, I didn't know he was going to do it again. Oh. Boom. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, got him. I'd say I'm doing pretty good for my first run. Unless this is, like, average. Does everybody beat the guy on the first run? Is this it? Do I go into the portal now? I assume I go into the portal. Oh, it reset my corruption. Victory! Progress 100%, playtime 18 minutes, gold collected, crystal inventory, health restored, nemesis lurkers. Nice. Nice. Okay, next. So now what? I don't have to go to the underworld, right? Because I'm alive. Oh, I beat the... Oh, I'm in, like, the Crash Bandicoot, like, warp area. Blood Emblem. Six new blessings available. Underworld. The underworld is placed between life and death. Between, uh, use the interaction uh, to near the central st stel stele in the main to access the underworld. There you can offer crystal stalls and jades to the gods and next up. Upgrade. All upgrade underworld upgrades persist and will remain after death. What is this? Oh, throwing knives. Chipped daggers. Ooh. Oh, is this the underworld? Blessings of the dead gods are powerful passive abilities that help you subsequent unlock blessings and equip each one. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff here. I can't, I can't. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to share. Um, the game's on Steam. I think it was like 20 bucks. I think it's on sale right now as of whenever this is today. <laughs> Which it probably won't be the same day as... Forget it. Um, go check it out. Go check out some of the videos you may not see in the next video. Goodbye, Jeepers Creepers.